7 on back again with another super mini hot hatch last video you saw us do was the fiesta st 300 brake horsepower plus that car was an amazing car however we're back again today with the s1 from audi the quad the quattro they uh, were inspired to release back in 2012 by the a1 quattro uh, which was a limited collection I think only 333 made and not many in the UK all which sold very quickly um, not long after 2012 they released the S1 and here we are I hope today I can show you why it comes under one of the best super mini hot hatches out there um, and a little bit more about the car let's go before we head off quick sound check aquaponic exhaust system all the way through with the tips as well check them out let's see if we can get a bit of noise from this now let's not forget two litre turbo charge so it's not going to produce a scream but let's see what the aquaponic aids it with you generally going at such a fast speed in such a light car brakes are a big concern but I don't feel as if this car won't stop it's doing the job well and of course being a manual I can always use the gears to brake also it's a boiling day today oh, the car is so much fun beautiful absolutely beautiful went around the bend like an F1 car except this is like an ant in comparison to an F1 car on steroids did you hear that fart just as you overrun 6,000 rpm and enter into that six and a half I'll show you as we come out of second the car releases a really nice fart there it was something you don't often hear unless you've got a DSG man a DSG box noise generated inside I think really does match everything it gets louder it gets more engaging the atmosphere changes let's pop it back we're just entering a village now so let's pop it back into efficiency and see how the car is just generally it does boast and obviously they do exaggerate these figures it does boast 40 mpg supposedly this S1 in particular is 300 bhp it's had some playing around with the ECU a few um, tweaks and twitches it's got a complete acropobic exhaust system again providing more power so generally I believe it's 257 200 and 257 or is it less 257 237 sorry got the guy the amazing guy who gave us the car by the way in the back supervising me <laughs> not that I need supervising but is he here to give me the support like that uh, two what did you say 237 yeah. 237 BHP and 273 pounds of torque which is why even on straight runs you know generally people's you know would not really back a two litre car they say after 80 miles per hour 100 miles per hour you know cars lagging there's not enough torque but this car really does start to get going as well in fourth gear
I could keep doing this every day. <laughs> Amazing fun, and what better place to do it, and what beautiful weather to enjoy it. I wonder if the dogs will get to us first. There's two dogs there. Which way are they coming? They're coming towards us. But I can hear the car, I can hear that Acropovic exhaust, exhaust system, and you should, for the price you have to pay for Acropovic. Very expensive, sits at the top of the market. More expensive than Miltec. Even more expensive than Remus. But have a look at the four wheel drive system as it comes around the bend. Beautiful. Car holds itself. Second. Beautiful. Sharp and shifty. Bang. The only thing I would say is the handling. The handling is not bad. However, it's almost too good. There's a light feeling to it. Uh, as if you're almost overly controlling the car. Like man had like me turning this camera like this and turning it like that. It's it, uh, there seems to be a lack of naturalness, which for me the Golf R did provide. Now, just me comparing the S1 to the Golf R is credit to the car. It should be compared, like I said, to the likes of the Abarth, the Fiesta ST, the John Cooper works, and here he is again. Shifting down from third into second, nice approach. And a bit of a late throttle push there as he came out of the bend but I'm sure there's good reason for that the car is wonderful uh, the three door being the lighter option I don't know the exact weight of the three door but the gross weight of the one the five door is 1800 kg so again that four-wheel drive system the quattro system does add weight uh, not a lot of weight still sitting lighter than uh, the other performance hatchbacks out there again me comparing to the likes of the RS3, the Focus RS, the Cupra, you're achieving similar figures, fine. It's not 237, it's 227 standard, I believe. Um, some people say 23, uh, everyone's got their figures. But we're talking 230. Um, it's not 300 bhp like the Golf R or the S3. It's not 360 like the leaders, the RS3. But the weight, the four wheel drive system, and that two liter engine with the turbo charge is providing enough power, I believe, to give a lot of cars a run for their money. Now let's see if we can find him somewhere. So the couple over there walking their dogs has have made it clear that they were recording the car coming up such beautiful speeds around the bend I mean it was only come on second gear 120 miles per hour no, I'm joking it was about 20 30 miles per hour but some people like to make a point we've picked you know we've hand selected fine quiet roads no you've seen what the car can Bring to the table performance wise. Um, I want to run around the car to show you why the S1 is sitting at the price range it is. Firstly, one of the first things you notice, the quad exhausts. Uh, this particular car, like I mentioned earlier, has got the Acropovic system, which gives the guy, the owner, the Acropovic tips as well, straight away, giving you a couple of extra millimeter, providing a fierce look, which you've already got. The S1 badge. Um, in comparison to the A1, it's different styling. Uh, you've got 19 inch competition wheels. The S1 also sits 25 millimeter lower standard than the A1, which is uh, something else that gives it its aggressive look. Excuse me one second. Let me phone you back, I'm just filming something. Oh. Sorry about that. The Quattro, Vinyls on the side, that's not something you get on an A1. S1 styling. Just get up here. A nice aggressive front. The colour of this car, Daytona grey. Obviously, a beautiful colour. As you can see when the light hits it, the sparkle inside it giving a metallic look. That's the outside, unless you do spec up the car. Um, let's show you the inside. Now the first thing 
that issue straight away is the seats. You have to get into them. The bucket seats, you've got your S1 printed, embossed into the leather there. Red stitching, nice material front. Very comfortable. I feel secure, I feel ready. Let's get my belt on. I don't know why we're not going anywhere. It's just my habit actually, get into the car and put my belt on. Now, I did expect actually a flat bottom steering wheel, uh, especially with a smaller car, me being slightly taller than average height. It's a concern for me in a in a hot hatch, especially this, but to be honest with you, my knee, my knees don't feel too bad, even though the pedals are slightly steeper than I expected. But thanks to your different seat fastenings and tiltings, you can sort that out, as well as the extension there. Bose sound system, a uh, very good system, Bose, you know, uh, world renowned well-recognized brand, good sound system. The gear stick, you've got the nice styling around there. Also, just want to highlight the S1 there at the bottom of the steering wheel, which straight away shouts out S1. The dials, very sporty. Quattro, of course, something that has to be highlighted. The only super mini hot hatch, which is four wheel drive, let's not forget. But generally, Audi have kept things simplistic as they do. Um, you've got the multimedia system, two SD card slots, you can even insert a SIM. Guess what? I'm surprised to see that CD holder. Uh, your other features, so you can plug in your USBs. Your, that's quite nice, a little touch from Audi. Looks like an ashtray. You've got to give it to Audi, their products are nice. Seat eaters, <coughs> your traction buttons there. Your driving option, the drive select Audi system. There again, seat heaters. Very easy to use functions. I think that's what Audi has always um, tried to push, simplicity. And I really do get that. Uh, for me, the money I spend, I would expect a bit more in comparison to say, a Fiat Abarth, you're spending similar money. Uh, and that, that might well be actually cheaper than this, but you're getting a very stylish car, very trendy car. Um, but I guess Audi lovers, they like the style Audi puts forward. We're all different, we all have our own opinions. Manual gear stick, handbrake, everything I'd like to see in a small super mini hatch. I've been S7R, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see another super hot hatch we've done, check out the ST video and see the difference between front wheel drive and four wheel drive. We'll just use that as our cue to leave. Do, 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 do. There's plenty of